Oh, okay. So the next one, um, so that was Gemini's opposite was Sagittarius and Gemini's blind spot was Taurus. So now Taurus is the focus, Taurus opposite is Scorpio. And Scorpio is the moon to change and transform of the reproductive organs, the genitals, anus, urethra, prostate, groin and pelvis. And the, ash, um, the cards in the tarot is the traditional, it's the death card for the traditional card of Scorpio. No, no, no it's just the death card. Where's the other one? Oh, that is... oh we've missed it, haven't we? Oh, okay, no, we haven't missed it. Um, so the, the traditional ruler of Scorpio is Mars, which is the Tower card, but we've got the Tower card with Aries. The modern ruler of Scorpio is um, Pluto, which is number 20, and it's Judgment, the calling. The card of Scorpio is 13, the Death card, and Scorpio is a fixed sign, so it is the 5, 6, and 7 of Cups because it's the middle decan. Because we've done our journey of using our feelings through the filter of the heart, having heart-led thinking, into seeing of spiritual clarity, into having authentic, integral um, abundance in the material world, bringing us to, through our transformative process. Number 20 because we have investigated ourselves, ready for the next layers and depths and dimensions and realities of investigation in divine timing. The extraordinary power of prayer, the highest and lowest aspects of, control the situation and, purification to resurrect, the secrets of, resulting from the power of, Scorpio is the eighth house. Number 32 is endings and beginnings. And the eighth house is also the house of mystery. As a life or death issue, getting and using power. So as a life or death issue, what we've been going through has been a life or death issue with us navigating through our suicidal ideation and our DID with this fragmented psyche which is Scorpio energies, okay? Our Scorpio, it's my barbecue. <laughs> Our Scorpio, which is death energies, poor me, unless it's vegetarian, but still death of the plant. <laughs> We're going on one like now, aren't we? Um, no, we don't have anything on. We would have smelt it long ago if we did. Oh yeah. Um, so death energies, Scorpio, house eight. Our Scorpio is, house three and house four, Uranus being in Scorpio house four, Uranus is waking up, Uranus is currently in Taurus, our Taurus is Chiron, you have the nodes of Taurus and Scorpio which are just about to shift into um, Aries and Libra, but our, our house eight is Aries, which is Venus, the heart. So to, be, to get to our deepest depths of our heart, the pink at the beginning, has been through an issue of life or death. Um, that's interesting. Um, and if you have come across this, there'll be deep, deep connections and healing going on for you as well. So be gentle with yourself and take care. Getting and using power, use other people's resources personal power, the mysteries of life, a major change, a major change is happening for us. I can just tell from everything that's going on here for us. Um, and we've been waiting a long time. We're gonna go and go for the drink then and we're like, no, we're changing habitual patterns. We're doing that because there's a discomfort with the feelings, but we're not dis discomfortable with our feelings. Thank you. 
the need for control of. But we don't need control to take control like that anymore. We've got a freedom and a flowing going on, an obsession with a power struggle. Resurrect, get to the heart of, yeah, get to the depths of the heart. Do or die, you must. Pluto, number 27, rebirth. So these are the star code astros. We would show you, show you we've, we've got the box um, piled up. The star code astros, Oracle is this one. These are the uh, star code astros, karma cards. And then these ones are the black moon astrology. We'll have to write them down in the bottom. So Scorpio. Astro die. <laughs> it fell off, but we managed to catch it and not lose it and roll it again like you saw. And it's number eight, Scorpio's house. Oh, this one's kind of in a crack. It did just fall down to Pisces, but we're going to just do that one again too. It's Pisces again. Well, that's good, isn't it? Eight Pisces and Saturn again. So we're really bringing it into the 3D, into Saturn. And we're just getting really excited with these energies. Um, it doesn't matter if that camera dies. We'll just do it up on here. Um, and the card, it's gone to the bottom again, which makes sense because Scorpio is the depth, the mystery. And the card for Scorpio is your world serpent. Oh my god, that had to come out, didn't it? Of course. Destiny, awesome. So we were talking about the great healer earlier, how Ophiuchus is the great healer, how for us Ophiuchus is what brings all the 12 astrological signs together. The great healer, Ophiuchus, is the serpent bearer. So that is what was going around our head on the downloads this morning when we were... Um, some of us, ones that are visual, were just looking at stuff to do with it on the in the sky. Um, so it went to Aquarius because Aquarius is the water bearer. Aquarius is an air sign, but they're the water bearer. They're the carrier of emotions. They are the humanity, humanitarian card, the card of technology. So if Aquarius is reaching their full potential energetics to become the humanitarian within of the self because we know a lot of humanitarians that aren't good with their own family home dynamics but they'll go out and help others in the world so if you're an Aquarius that's able to be good with your own home dy dynamic dynamics like cancer what we started with so on this energetic earth journey through the astro signs this is the case um and we've got to the whole fluid balanced aquarius water bearer but we're talking about the world serpent the aquarius is the humanitarian the world the serpent is the serpent bearer of eucus the serpent is the kundalini energies of the kundalini energy rising which is what sent the chaos into us we're not going to go down all the different lines of um, kundalini energies and risings and the different effects of that from a societal perspective and from our own personal perspective integrating and finding the bridge between the societal the man the western man view and the eastern man view or woman you know just the eastern western mind and so when we become the world serpent, when we harness all of the 12 astrological sites, energies of the signs for the body and dance, put it into the whole of the circle of Ophiuchus, the serpent bearer, the postural alignment of the body energetically has been stitched and woven into its optimum resonant frequency between all its different set bacteria, biomes, a gut biome, nose biome, skin biome, to create bubbly, bouncy, healthy, diverse bacteria to create healthy cells and healthy cellular systems to create healthy optimum res resonance systems of the body, digestive system, reproductive system, respiratory system, circuitry system, digestive system, etc. It's 28 too! <laughs> 28 was very important for us on number, we're not going to go down that side track. Um, so therefore the Kundalini energy can rise in its optimum way and rise and move and dance through all aspects of the body without causing chaos. So for us before it caused chaos, it couldn't do that because of the structural um, misalignment um, 
there is no integrity to the structural body. Um, that, so yeah, that's just amazing because that's brought in the rest of that channeling this morning and the flow of, and you can see the serpent, and if you can see the serpent here in the snake um, from this morning, so your destiny, world serpent, 28. <sighs> There's always some point in time that is destined. How that fated moment unfolds is in our hands as we step towards it. Tor and Ayor were forever woven together, always destined to die together. Pierce and stitch a pathway towards your law. Start sewing fearlessly. Start sewing fearlessly further onwards. Do not skirt your issues. Ayor is a time-given gift. Oh, thank you, Lefruma. Thank you.